Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your February mid-monthly reading. This. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope that all my Cancers had a really good Valentine's Day. Um, I hope that my Cancers just having a really good month, really good year, really good start to the year. So we'll save the messages for the end. We'll get started. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera, but I give the cards a quick shuffle. And then we get started. Okay, Cancer. All right, recent past, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could have taken a situation to the next level. If we're talking about love, we're talking about moving in together, we're talking about engagement, we're talking about um, making a big purchase together, uh, buying a dog, whatever. Um, if we're talking about business, you could have started a business. You could have invested money in a business. Um, you could have gotten a new job. You could have gotten a new home. The Ace of Pentacles in the recent past. The basis for all this is the Moon and the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of unknown. There could be outright lies and secrets. And it causes you a lot of anxiety. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be causing the mental anguish, the anxiety. You want to know, you don't know, you're back and forth due to the fact that there's a lot of unknown here. Uh, you know what you know, but you know that you don't know what you don't know. That's how your mind is fluctuating. Not to laugh at you, but it's all over the place. The reason for all of the energy is the Knight of Swords. Um, someone, it could be a, an immature air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone coming in to give their truth, speak truth. You could have been coming in to give your truth, or it could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm hearing that they could have said something that just turned the entire situation in, in another manner. Like you thought it was going one way and they, they came in and spoke their truth about a situation, relationship, whatever. And it just shifted the energy. Presently, you're queen of pentacles. So you're worried about money. You're worried about the practical things. You're worried about stability. You, you're still a mother, a wife, a, a good one at that. But still concentrated on the pinnacle, the earthly, what rules us earthly. You're worried about um, stability, concerned about it, if anything. The near future is the eight of pinnacles and the hermit. There's work to be done. You're going within to even ask yourself, do I want to do this work? You might need to be working on yourself. Spiritual awareness here for self, working on yourself spiritually, holistically. I'm here. This could be a diet to your health. So that's in focus for the near future. Your power is the will of fortune, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful destiny. Things are meant to happen here. What's external to you is the five of wands. Indecision. 
someone is back and forth about how they feel about a certain situation, petty arguing, external to you, could be with an er a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and your hopes and fears, King of Swords, you're hoping for a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, typically this is Aquarius or Libra. You're either hoping to be like the King of Swords or hoping to have something to do with the King of Swords. The outcome is the higher thing. Uh, you going to seek spiritual guidance. I'm hearing some of you feel lost. Ten of Swords. Wow. King of Cups. Seeking spiritual guidance, or some of you want to lay down a traditional relationship, whether it's marriage or just long-standing relationship. The Ten of Swords is here. There's been some betrayal. You get the Nine of Swords and the Ten. You just, you're the end of it. King of Cups is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is you. Who is the King of Swords? What is the King of Swords? Who is the King of Swords? What is the King of Swords? Hopes and fears, King of Swords. The Knight of Wands. Someone you, who you feel is in and out of your life. Passion ensues between them, to, between the two of you, but they're in and out. Nine of Cups, but you're hoping for them. You wishing and hoping for them with the Nine of Cups. Wow. You're hoping and wishing. Oh, the Nace of Cups falls out for a new start in love and friendship with them. What is the Wheel of Fortune? The Page of Cups. It's destined that you you will have the opportunity to give messages of love. The High Priestess. The Five of Wands. Someone you're dealing with could be very intuitive. Someone's external to you. The Hangman. Right. Five of Wands, Hangman, High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles. Yep. This person's single, Two of Cups. There's love here. You're trying to get away from some. Okay, so there's two sets of my cancers. Some of you. Are already in something made with someone else could be the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or an air sign, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever was said, it just it left the whole situation out in the cold. It just just cut something out. Okay, so there's two sets of you, Cancer. Some of you want. Uh, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, typically, well, specifically, an Aquarius or a Libra. You're hoping and wishing for a new start with them. You might already be partnered to an air sign, a younger air sign. Um, some of you are in marriage with an air sign. This air sign has, you know, gone outside of the marriage. You're seeking spiritual guidance and awareness as to what you should do. Some of you are in traditional relationships with someone. You want out. You want someone else, but you aren't telling them. And you aren't telling the person you're with. Let's get some advice cards. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for cancer, motivation. Retirement, self-employment, nice. In the past, you could have gone in business for yourself. Retirement also speaks about the difference in the way you make money. For some of you, you could be actually retiring. Or there could be a change in how you make money, how many hours you put into making money, your income. Motivation here. I'll pull one more. Thank you for the messages for cancer. Healing from the past. Yeah, the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Needing to do work on yourself. Heal from the past with the Ten of Swords. Someone really 
you know, sh shook things up for you. You thought it was going one way, and they they completely almost blindsided you. Sometimes the Ten of Swords talks about being blindsided. All right, so I hope that this helps some of you out, at least gave you clarity on what you're feeling or thinking. Uh, these are the energies around you for right now, February, mid-February going into early March. If you feel like you need a personal reading, all information is below. Email address is below. Prices are below. Uh, please take advantage of that, all right? Take care, guys.